When we talk about resolution, we talk about web and print resolution. So next, let's talk about the print side. Print resolution is not as easily defined as web resolution. 300 ppi is considered to be the standard printing resolution because that is a setting that works for the majority of printing processes. But each type of printing has its own parameters when it comes to proper resolution. LPI, which I talked about in a previous video, is an additional resolution term used in printing. It stands for lines per inch and describes the frequency of which halftone dots a particular printing process can print per inch. Desktop inkjet printers, like a photo printer that you might want to print on, use between 240 and 300 ppi, and you'll need to check your printer settings to know what your resolution should be. Commercial printing presses use a formula taking LPI, the lines per inch, or the frequency in which you can create halftone dots into consideration. Grayscale images use one and a half times LPI, and so what we usually end up with is 200 ppi of the resolution as the resolution for grayscale images. And color images use two times the LPI, which usually is between 250 and 350, there's a typo on my screen there, resolution. We average that out and say that 300 should be good on most printing outputs, and so that's why we say that 300 resolution is standard. However, it's not. In printing, you want to use the formula of one and a half times LPI if you're printing a grayscale image. Think about uh, newspapers, right? If newspapers can print 70 LPI, and just made that number up, then we would multiply 70 times 1.5, and that would give us the resolution that we need for uh, newsprint images. Color images are going to use 2 times LPI, which ends up usually being between 250 and 350. Some printing processes have quite a higher quality LPI, like gravure printing, it's one of the printing processes, while others have lower, like screen printing. But the formulas used are still the same. You're still going to use one and a half times the LPI to calculate the resolution of the grayscale image and two times the LPI to calculate the resolution of a color image. You'll just start with bigger or smaller numbers. And so if you have 133 LPI, you'll multiply it times two and you'll need 266 uh, LPI. If you start with 33 LPI, you'd multiply that times two for a color image and you'd only need 66 uh, pixels per inch or DPI. File size is also very important for print resolutions. So file size is important for web resolutions because we don't want big files. We want them to load quickly because someone may, um, they may go to your website. It takes more than three seconds for the website to load and they'll get bored and they'll leave it, right? So we want it to load really fast. Uh, conversely, we want we want as much data as possible when we're printing because we want to make sure that we're printing the highest quality images. Print resolution is much higher than web resolution. So web we said was 72 and print resolution is 300 ppi if we're looking at it on screen, dpi if we've printed it. And, and we want to have 300 pixels per inch. But just like web file formats, or I'm sorry, web resolutions, we don't want anything bigger than 300 or whatever the calculation is determined by using these formulas. We don't want anything larger because anything larger, it just takes forever to download. So once it's printed, we don't care how big the file was because we're picking up physically printed things. But if I'm trying to upload a booklet that's 400 pages and there's eight pictures on every page and each one of them has 900 PPI resolution, it is going take, to take forever to download the download could become corrupt, the connection could break, um, it could take several hours longer than you anticipate to get files from one place to another, etc. Um, so you want to keep that in mind. We do want a lot of, of, of uh, data, but we don't want anything more than 300 ppi or whatever is determined by the formula to calculate the appropriate resolution. Because anything above that determined resolution will do the same thing that happens for web. It'll increase the file size, and in theory it will increase the quality, but as I look at all these images, the one at 300 ppi and the one at 900 ppi look identical. I can't see any better image. I'm just increasing the file size and kind of wasting my time in doing so.